All right, YouTube, it's Quill, and I'm coming back at you with a new video, and this video is just gonna be straight up me showing you guys how I play on twos, watch what my player does, and watch this crazy NBA 2K20 gameplay. But before I go on, first, I have to thank every single new subscriber and anybody that is watching this video. I gained over 5,000 subscribers yesterday, which honestly is completely surreal to me I can't believe it so thank you so much to all my new subs anybody who's watching this video please do me a favor leave a like on this video for more NBA 2k20 gameplay let's try and smash 2500 likes on this video let's get right into the gameplay so before anybody asks me are you still using the same jump shot or are you still using the same dribble moves everything in my last video as far as my jump shot and my dribble moves are completely the same in this video so watch what I do watch how I play and if and if you like the way I'm playing and you like what you're seeing like I said smash that like button and copy this player build copy how I play because honestly this game is looking fun this game looks like it has a skill gap and it looks like we have a very good year of 2k going forward but you guys see what I'm doing with the little hop layup. Look at this big body with contact with a playmaking sharpshooter. Even though it says I'm a playmaking shot creator, I count myself as a playmaking sharpshooter, all right? So that's what I'm going to be calling myself throughout the year a playmaking sharpshooter. And at this point, I want to give you guys some tips and tricks for 2K20. And what I think, you know, is going to be the meta or what everyone's going to use, what's going to be the best. Because right now, even though I do have twos gameplay for you guys, you guys see that sharp takeover is, it's different. I'm very, very happy that I chose sharpshooter takeover because when you get sharp takeover, you can fade from deep. But even though I am showing you guys park twos gameplay in this video, most people right now are running threes. They're running the 3v3 pro-am because that's where you get the most rep from the 3v3 pro-am. So that's where everybody is. They want rep, they want my points. So until they either buff park or make it so you don't get as much rep in that 3v3 pro-am, it's looking like that's where most people are gonna play. And if you wanna get rep, that's where you should be playing too. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering or just you know asking what badges do I have right now in this gameplay. And you guys just saw on the top right, I had Hall of Fame range extender. So yes, Hall of Fame range extender, Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame handles for days, I'm pretty sure I have Bronze Deadeye, Hall of Fame Difficult Shots, and Hall of Fame Quick Draw. Those are all my badges, guys. I've been I've been grinding, all right? I'm going to be real with you guys. I have been really in the lab grinding. That's why I think I only have 30 park games played. I think I'm like 35 and 0 in park or something. And then in that 3v3 Pro-Am, I think my record in that is something like 28 and like 3. I'm not sure. My record in that isn't too good. But that's because, like I said, I've been in the my career. I've been getting badges, grinding badges. If you guys aren't liking 2K20 so far, that is my biggest advice to you. Go in the my career and go grind badges. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos asking me, Oh, Quill, what are you playing on? You playing on Hall of Fame? You hitting your shots? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Hall of Fame this year, at least as of right now, is way, way too hard. You, you won't even get a lot of greens on Hall of Fame. So when I'm playing my career, as of right now, I'm playing on All-Star. And I'm getting some pretty good rep because just you guys are probably struggling right now because you don't have that many badges. But the more badges you get, the easier it is to shoot every single game. I'm telling you guys, the more badges you get, the more points you'll start getting. It just goes faster and faster. The hardest part of getting these badges is the beginning when you don't have any badges because, I mean, that's how it's been every year. But this year, it's, it's really, really different. You need these badges. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the gameplay so far. I did show you guys two games of just, you know, me playing twos. And this is how I normally play. Like I said, if you guys do want to play twos, even park threes, you guys can copy this play style. I said in my last video that this game, 2K20, is giving me a 2K17 vibe. And that's not because of, you know, the movement, the dribbling, anything. Well, kind of the dribbling. It's mainly because you want to do one move around a screen and take the shot. And this year, when everybody gets their badges, I feel like this is the year that you're gonna be able to shoot consistent, consistent greens. Sharpshooters are looking super, super overpowered right now. So if you did make a sharpshooter, props on you. It's looking like you made the right build, okay? Because sharpshooters are hitting 
everything right now. As you guys see, my partner drives me, tries shooting a three. It doesn't really work out. But I am spraying whites in this video, guys. I'm definitely shooting greens, but I'm also shooting a lot of whites. And that's because I don't want to be that YouTuber that lies to you guys, you know what I mean? And say, oh yeah, look at what I do. I literally shoot green every play. Because let's, let's be real, that doesn't happen. I definitely have those games where, you know, I'll shoot five for 10, you know, everybody has those games right now. That's just how it is. But I also have a lot of games like I put in this video where I'm shooting really, really good. I'm shooting a lot of greens and, you know, I'm just going crazy. So you guys have obviously seen that throughout this gameplay, I'm doing that move that I just showed, that Kobe size up. As of right now, that is my go-to move. That's gonna be the move that I do every time. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at what I can do with sharp takeover. You can do so much more with sharp takeover than with no takeover at all. Obviously, like that sounds funny, but there's a lot of people complaining that the shot creator takeover and the playmaking takeover don't work that well. A lot of people are saying the playmaking takeover is really, really useless, which just makes me even happier going, making sure that I chose the sharp takeover. He gets some weird rip on me. That's another thing about this game that I really hope they fix. There's a few animations that obviously right now, we're not used to them. But in the future, we're gonna get used to them the more we play. That happens every year. So right here, you guys see I have my takeover. I tell Drowsy, Drowsy, let me see how far I can shoot with my takeover. Let's see if I can shoot from real deep. And you guys see a full bar white, but it does go in. Hall of Fame range extender, remember that. And this last game here, I put this gameplay last, so anybody that's still watching, this guy that we're playing right here, this guard, this 91 overall, he had Hall of Fame quick draw. No, 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 sorry, he had gold quick draw, Hall of Fame range extender and Hall of Fame flexible release. So it looks like he was in the mic for a grind just like me. He is a 91 overall. So he's definitely grinding. He knows what he's doing. But I locked him up this game. I, I pretty much showed that playing defense on sharps is really, really easy. But this is just, you know, a comp game for you guys. If people, you know, say, oh, Quill, all you're doing is uploading against Bum. That's why you look good. When, to be honest, those first games that I showed, those weren't even against Bums. Everybody in those games was a pretty high overall. But you guys see this dude shooting very early with all those badges. Drowsy kicks out. Honestly, I should have taken that shot. A big thing this year is taking open catch and shoot shots. And you guys just saw me miss a deep fade. That's another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Because I hope that I'm not the only one that feels like they need to update it where it shouldn't take so long to take a standing shot, if you guys know what I mean. I feel like it takes forever to stop and actually take a standing shot. I, I don't know if I'm the only one, but it's like if I run around a screen, I have to do one of those new weird hesitations or stand there for like a, a good whole second before I can take a standing shot and I have to fade. And fading in this game is super super like it's it's inconsistent you guys see bronze that i hall of fame quick draw hall of fame range extender you guys see the badges popping up i hit that man that was a pretty that was a 30 percent contested which in this game is a lightly green 2k20 is a massive w so like i said in the beginning if you haven't already sub please hit that sub button we are so close to 100k less than 5k subs away i can't thank you guys enough for all the support you showed me yesterday and just so far in 2k20 if you haven't already hit that like button let's try and smash 2500 likes on this video but this game gets interesting you guys see the score is eight to four right now i'm not gonna lie this guy's horse and drowsy this dude is shooting horribly horribly this dude is shooting terribly oh yeah and this guy had hall of fame unpluckable and look at what i just did I i'm not sure if that was a rip or me running into him but he does have hall of fame unpluckable and i am ripping him I don't know if that badge is useless or what, but this game does get close, so make sure you guys stick around for that. And another thing that I want to ask you guys about this game to leave in the comments, do you guys feel like full bars and fading is just too inconsistent this year? Because I'll play against somebody, right, and I'll shoot fades, green, 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 all greens. Then the next game, I'll shoot the same exact shots, the same exact shots, maybe even more open, but this time... It's a full bar and it'll miss and it is a full bar. I can't release it any better. I, I don't understand this game. It makes no sense to me. But you guys see, I have my takeover, 14 points. Just look what I do. Takeover, I tell Drowsy, look what I can do with my takeover. I can take deep fades with this badge so consistently. The sharp takeover this year is just like the shot creator takeover. For me, 
when I have it from what I've seen so far, deep moving shots are the move with sharp takeover, taking deep fades. You guys see, I love it. Center's trying to shade up. They drop back, take the shots as they're walking back. It's a big thing on the twos this year. But if you guys did enjoy this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. More NBA 2K20 videos out probably daily. So put turn on that bell so you know when all my videos do go live. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately, and I'm out.